Several residents, especially the farmers from the Chigese subregion, have attributed the predicted upcoming hunger threats to the heavy rains that have been on since September, destroying most of their gardens and infrastructure such as loads. <laughs> The Chigese subregion being a disaster prone area, due to its hilly lane, the rainy season causes major problems to the population that is already struggling with the consequences of land fragmentation, water and cultivation, and economic crisis, among others. Speaking to some of the farmers, they say that the rainy season has strongly affected them in a way that floods and soil erosion has washed away their gardens, leaving them with no other source of income to look after their families, saying that they are likely to be hit by hunger in the coming days. <laughs> Ngenuka <laughs> This add that because the people have turned away from the old agricultural practices, such as tillersing of their land, bush farrowing, tree planting in the highland areas, and digging of check dams, among others, has been the number one cause of the destruction brought up by the heavy rains. <laughs> Akataka <laughs> According to Ivrin Nisima, a sustainable development consultant and environmentalist, the current seasons are unpredictable because of the rapid climatic changes and increased human activities, saying that these prolonged rainy seasons have caused destruction of a lot of crops, leading to huge losses to the farmers. She asked that the planting of indigenous trees is the way to go in combating the continuous climatic changes. With the unpredicted rains, most of the crops have been destroyed. Uh, last season, I lost uh, close to four acres due to hailstone, and I didn't harvest quite enough as I anticipated. And uh, I do believe uh, if everybody plants a tree, you know, an indigenous tree, a pinus tree, then we'll try to combat climate change to kind of control these and stable rains that, that, that are really come, coming up. Nisima adds that the rainy season tends to affect agriculture because of the continuous poor agricultural practices, saying that these have been the major cause of the landslides, soil erosion, flooding among others, leading to the destruction of gardens and, and infrastructure such as loads, thus also blocking the farmers from transporting some of their goods to the market. So the rainy seasons tend to affect agriculture, you know, because of the poor agricultural practices, We've witnessed a lot of landslides in the rural communities. The roads have been blocked for those people who have vests. They don't have where to, you know, to how best to carry their, their produce. And uh, definitely that is a big challenge. But as an environmentalist, I would kind of advise people to kind of, you know, practice better agricultural practices. Milton Kwesiga, a currently based environmentalist and the executive director of the Africa Disaster Reduction Research Emergency Mission, says that the raining for a long time is an indicator that it's that period of time that disastrous events should be expected, calling for preparedness among the locals. This rain, you know, it has been raining and it has taken long. And this is the time when we expect disastrous events because most of the soil of the soil city is soaked. Hmm? And because of that, any slight uh, increase again in the rain, it will wash away everything, especially in areas which are not prepared. Kwesiga further says that although the government has grossed over the issues of people destroying the water catchment areas, such as constructing and cultivating wetlands, there is an urgent need of the government to restore such areas.
He also appeals to the government to consider training people in Chigezi about better agricultural practices to say less the negative causes of heavy rains in the area. Because having people who need to be chased immediately, those who are building new towns. Can you imagine? People are putting structures in areas which are, uh, which are prone to, fr to floods. People are blocking water channels. People are building on, on, on valleys. People are putting those structures. And uh, everybody is what is, uh, the government is, is looking on. Let the government authorities inform the people who are in disaster prone areas in the region to to put in preparedness, uh, uh, to put in measures that will safeguard their crops, their homes, as well as other properties. Okay. Otherwise, if they, are, they, they, they keep quiet, they will wait to respond when people have already died, or when crops have already been washed away, or when properties have been what? have been uh, destroyed. Non-government organizations such as Nature Uganda has come in to train people on the sustainable use of water catchment areas such as wetlands by extending activities such as beekeeping to the people in order to assist them on the protection of these wetlands. We are saying let people not use the wetlands but as Nature Uganda we are saying let us use the wetlands sustainably and we talk, when we talk of sustainably we want us to use the wetlands but even the future generation also use the wetlands. We have a number of activities that we are doing. Maybe our farmers that are in the wetlands, they can do some other projects like beekeeping. And Nation Uganda itself is giving out bees, uh, beehives. We've given out beehives uh, to these communities and with the purpose of people improving their livelihoods, but also um, conserve these wetlands. Some of the leaders said that the district in the Chigese sub-region are not provided with emergency funding for such rain-caused disasters, saying that the budget has continuously remained with the central government under the office of the Prime Minister. The Rwanda District LC5 Chairperson Stephen Kasiawa says that there is need for the district to handle disasters internally. You know this season, actually right off from like August, there was a lot of rain. And given our terrain, uh, the rain has affected much of our homesteads, has affected much of our roads. As the district do not have a budget for emergency funding, that budget has continuously remained at the center under OPF. Nonetheless, in the next financial year, I'm insisting that under our small budget we get, that we squeeze like 50 million into the budget under Natural Resources Department. We put it there to manage our emergencies internally. Southwestern Uganda Chigese subregion districts in particular have on several counts been listed among the districts prone to disasters such as landslides, erosion, flooding and lightning among others. But this has not shifted the attention of the government from centralizing the emergency funds. Nobody Ngamachi, Fortuguese Television.